last weekend wakati tulikuwa na president hapa mbele gari ya president yenye ile ilikuwa imebeba ilipiga mguu hapo wakati ilikanyanga hiyo mashimo na ikapiga mguu na hiyo gari ikasimama hapo kwa hivyo kama hata president mwenyewe kwa kwa hatari katika barabara zetu nani akosifu mimi nimesema i felt so sorry for the president kuona gari yake imegonga na imepasuka mguu so na imagine kama tulikuwa downhill na imepiga mguu watu kuna happen to the end of state hiyo ndio shida mimi nauliza hiyo swali ni vizuri tulikuwa tunapanda juu kwa hivyo ilipiga ikasimama hapo lakini kama tungekuwa tunaenda downhill na hiyo speed ya presidential motorcade then we could be talking of other stories which it is very unfortunate barabara inaweza kuwa namna hii na pesa iko mingi budget tumepea Kenya National Kenya tumepea pesa mingi pesa ya maintenance lakini wale watu wanapea kandarasi sijui ni akina nani labda kama wao wananjipea wenyewe ndio wasitumie hiyo pesa because we don't understand kwa hivyo mimi naomba tafadhali director general wa Kenya lazima utembee hapa Meru Uone vile barabara zetu za Meru, Tarakanivi na Embu vile ziko. Sababu sisi ni walipo ushuru kama wengine. Na vile mambo ilivyo kama tutaendelea hivi basi hata wewe utatuambia ni kwa nini unapaswa kuwe kwa ofisi sababu kama tunaumia namna hii na wewe ndiye unaangalia macho yetu katika maintenance ya barabara. I know very well hizi barabara zinakuanga na maintenance even ya 2 years. Ni contractor gani umepea hii kazi sababu hii ni Aibu kwenu. Kwa wale ambao wanatumia vitengo vya serikali vibaya. Na kwa sababu mumefanya vili ambavyo ilikuwa mapenzi yenu ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba mumepata one of the governor's family ndio muweze kuandika haitaishia hapo tutasukumana kotini vilivyo. Kabisa. Tutasukumana. Na mpaka mtoe ushahidi. Na kwa mimi kama governor kwa wale ambao wamesema governor ni muuaji na kunitaja na majina mbili niko na nyinyi kotini nataka damages kulipwa na si kulipwa hivi hivi nitalipwa from the two video i've just displayed to you on the screen ladies and gentlemen the main reason why i have done so is because we want to have some candid discussion on one or two, one or two major issues affecting our country because the first video is telling you the real reality even the president himself was almost dying on the road due to some of uh, cartels who squanders government money and they don't want to repair the roads the second video is of Kawira Mwangaza and uh, it is a clear indication that Kawira Mwangaza does not have a, a political firmness to stand with the people of him to stand with the people of Meru I mean sorry because this is what Kawira Mwangaza is saying ladies and gentlemen and I'm very sad seeing her saying this Mr President Meru was ranked the number one country in collecting revenues. We are leading the whole country. He said, "If they, if they said, if they call you Zakayo, they should call me uh, Madam Zakayo." She explained, and she carried on by saying, "Muniite Mrs. Zakayo, Kawira Mangaza brags about collecting." high country revenue it is very sad if kawira bwangaza can come now out i think in two or three weeks ago i did the analysis who is behind kawira bwangaza's fight and i've realized that the issue of tax was something uh, bringing political differences to Meru governor but immediately she had a meeting with the Ruto in in her own country county things have changed as i'm displaying that picture on the screen now we want to have some of issues affecting our leadership in the country and how can they be resolved 
with immediate effect. Before I do that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to take this golden chance to thank you very much for the great effort you are doing to this channel because if it was not your support, then this channel could have not reached to where it is as at now. Thank you very much for your subscriptions. Thank you very much for watch hours and also kindly don't forget to like the video. Share to your friends, family and relatives. And if this might be your first time watching me at Zion Kenya TV YouTube channel, I also want to request you just take a one second and click the subscription button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. After you subscribe, like the video, watch the video and also drop your opinion at the comment section below. Meanwhile, let's proceed with the two videos I've just displayed. Meru have been recognized as the country, country which have collected heavy taxation or county revenue as well explained by county boss Mrs. Mangal. And the major problem affecting African leadership is that they are always afraid and they end up bound for their bosses. They will end up even associating with those who, who always drive us into a wrong direction. The main reason why I've said this is because Meru governor have changed our political tactics. And as you can see, the roads there are pathetic. Nothing has been done on those roads. But the governor herself is bragging and in fact telling the president that they have collected high revenue. Then the big question, where, that this, uh, where have these revenues gone for? That is the question that we should ask ourselves. That even if the country auditors visit her office, will she be eligible to explain much better on how she have spent the revenue she have bragged to be collected and recognized as number one in Meru County. Then number two, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to mention also Meru alone. This kind of leadership affects several country or community in the Republic of Kenya. You see, now it has reached to an extent even the president, as that man is saying, was almost dying on the road. Due to cartels we are having, due to those who cannot uh, consider for a better future of tomorrow. And in fact, yesterday, I talk about this, and I will keep on speaking on this, that if you want our country to be better, even the president himself should ensure that the cartels, those who are corrupted in, in government sector, should be removed from the office immediately. It is very unfortunate the, the, the resident in Embu, in Meru, in Tarakaniti, or in central Kenya as well, and also in the Republic of Kenya as well, they are exposing how the roads are pathetic, yet the leaders are bragging to the president how they collect tax in each and every county. Nothing has been done. Kenyans are suffering. Recently, we saw Kipchumba more comment, raising a complaint on the taxation on major roads, which means they only love themselves. They don't want to consider Kenyans who are vulnerable and need for help. So ladies and gentlemen, what can you say on this political move happening in our republic, uh, in our republic, Kenya? I'm eagerly waiting for your opinion at the comment section below. And I still want to request you, stay tuned at our YouTube platform, Zanu Kenya TV. Watch our videos, like, share, and give us your opinion. That is what I had to share with you at this point. Meanwhile, what are your take on Kawira Mwangaza after she have 
declared she collects high revenue in her county.